Ubisoft did a very good thing today. Now, this is something that in the general sense is very much unexpected because let's face it, Ubisoft has not had the best news in the past year. Just everything that comes out of Ubisoft, unfortunately for them, is not great. Things are not doing well. Assassin's Creed didn't really, you know, blow everybody away like they wanted. Things aren't doing great financially. Yeah, you know, overall, it's not uh, the best of days for uh, Ubisoft. And a lot of people, generally speaking, when they talk about about Ubisoft, they just kind of say that it's deserved. Now, I am not somebody that can say whether or not these things are deserved, but overall, it's probably better to see good things rather than bad things come from really any company, and that is why it was really cool to see this very good thing that Ubisoft actually did. Now, what they did was they made a very important tool open source, which means that essentially the code for it, the, the literal download, is now available for public use. So yes, this was today, April 14th, as I said. This is on Ubisoft's official website. I will link it in the description. But yeah, it is a colorblind simulation tool, and it is called Chroma. So when you dig into this article that talks about it, it says that Chroma, which is Ubisoft's colorblind simulation tool, is now available for public use after several years of internal use and development. With an estimated 300 million people around the world affected by colorblindness, Chroma allows developers to accurately replicate their experience and create accessible content. To meet their needs, the open source tool works by applying a filter over the game screen without hindering performance. I, I just, I have to wonder if that's true. Is 300 million people in the world have color blindness? I mean, that's actually a, a pretty good fraction of the world. I think the world is like, you know, what, eight or nine billion people? I've got to look this up here, so uh, just give me one sec. Yeah, okay, yeah, it is estimated that there are about 300 million people in the world with color vision deficiency. Oh, this is kind of interesting too. This this actually makes sense. It's one in 12 men, but only one in 200 women. Yeah, I've had like random people throughout my life tell me that they have colorblindness, and I think all of them were men. So yeah, I guess that makes sense. Anyway, not to get off topic on the uh, logistics. Yeah, obviously this is uh, pretty big. If you don't have colorblindness, you, you might not really think that it is something that affects a lot of people. But obviously, as we have seen from these statistics, I mean, geez, think of uh, th think of 12 men. It's a very weird thing for uh, a person person on the internet to tell you to do, but uh, but yeah, think of 12 men. One of them statistically has colorblindness. So yeah, this is something that definitely affects a lot of people. So this is obviously very, very big. Now it goes on to say over the past few years, Chroma has proven to be a highly efficient tool for us at Ubisoft. It has allowed us to assess the accessibility of our games for colorblind players much faster and more comprehensively than ever before. So we're thrilled to share Chroma with the entire industry and we invite everyone to benefit from it, provide feedback and contribute to its future development. And then just a little backstory, the last part of the article, they say that Chroma was developed in 2021 by a team based in India, and it's very efficient. It works with hotkeys. It has a customizable overlay. Very, very good stuff. So, uh, you know, I'm not colorblind, so, you know, I really don't know, you know, what it's like overall, that experience of just kind of going through life, you know, with this sort of, I guess you could call it really a disability to the vision. Obviously, there's different variants of colorblind blindness, but overall, you know, what does this tool actually do? How important is this tool, Chroma, from Ubisoft? Well, I did see this one comment on Reddit talking about the article. I will link this comment in the description. I did like it a lot. Basically, it's somebody that is colorblind that says, this tool obviously helps a ton, and games with good colorblind modes have been a godsend, but this is a problem that in many cases can be completely sidestepped with simple design decisions. And then they go on to give an example about how, you know, they play played Uno, the card game, and obviously there's different cards, and it was really hard to tell the difference between these two cards, like red and green, for example. But then just getting like a different theme of the deck of cards, you know, just completely changed things. Essentially, rather than just, you know, adjusting the lighting in the room to see the differences slightly between red and green, what would be better than that is just, you know, using like, say, different shapes rather than colors, and that just completely makes it a non-issue. So the one thing I will say about this tool is that, yeah, it does sound like like it is a filter, which is great in a lot of cases, but maybe with people who kind of suffer more from colorblindness or just like complete colorblindness, maybe a filter actually doesn't do it. So yeah, this is going to help people a lot, but maybe for some people, it would be interesting to see there be maybe some sort of a tool, maybe that comes out eventually, or maybe that is being worked on right now that addresses this exact problem rather than just giving a different shades, different filters to the colors, addressing it in some, you know, one size fits 
all universal tool that can in some way fix the issue of different colors in games for people who are colorblind. But that is getting a little ahead of myself. Overall, very good thing that Ubisoft did. It is very cool when tools like this are made open source.